Okay, welcome to our what was it? Closet talk. Okay. <laughs> welcome, <laughs> welcome to our closet talk, guys. I am Deleon, and then this is my sister Destiny. Destiny. You the series we're starting out with discussing getting bbls as a single woman me mm -hmm. and as a wife which is her hey. how long have you been married i've been married for two years yeah but you guys been together for like ever too long yeah <laughs> like they're like <laughs> high school sweethearts so when you decided that you wanted to get a bbl like how did you go and like uh, tell your husband that you was fine <laughs> So no, I told him maybe, remember I told you a long time ago when I seen such and such? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I had told him maybe three or four years ago I wanted to get a BBL. Then he was just like, no. <laughs> he told me to work out first. Work it out. Okay. Okay. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'll go ahead and work it out. I just, you know, whatever. So I worked out. I did lose a lot of weight. You yeah, see how big I was. Yeah, and I lost a lot of weight. So I'm just like, well, it's whatever. I don't need to go get no BBL. Then I had my second baby. So I'm like, mm. no. And then you told me you was going. Oh, yeah. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. you know what? This is sign ever. I need to go. I need to go. <laughs> so he like, okay, cool. Well, no. I was showing him pictures and everything. I was oh, showing him uh -huh. you. And then I was just showing him, like, different girls, mm -hmm. the procedure and whatnot. And he was just like, yeah, you know what? Okay, cool. Go ahead and do it. Oh. So then once you had told me about your doctor and stuff, I looked into it a little bit and I looked into, you know, you know what you do, the normal yeah. stuff or whatever. And he was just like, well, if you want to book, book. So that's what I did. I booked. And he helped you pay for it, right? Yeah. He so, paid yeah, he paid for half. I see, look, so there's like there's been this thing that's been going on on all the blocks. And by the way, like both of us are William dolls, Dr. William Miami. He's he works at three oh five plastic surgery. He's the GOAT right now. So Yes. Check and he him booked out. Up. Yeah, he booked books. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm he's so booked and he's so expensive now. So okay, so a lot of girls were saying like your husband shouldn't have to pay for your BBL or like girl or should not have to pay like a percentage. Now, me as a single woman, like if I'm talking to somebody or if like I'm dating somebody, like I feel like you should help me like pay for it. With anything. Yeah, because like if if it was something that you wanted, like I will come through for you. So and yeah. you're gonna enjoy this just as much as I'm gonna enjoy this body. So exactly. You should cover it. They should pay for all the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> technically single or not single or married they sh i feel like they should pay for the whole thing if they got it yeah but if they don't if they oh, we won't well, why are you with someone that don't got it <laughs> exactly <laughs> i ain't gonna say it like that because i mean sometimes you know they don't have it but if they don't have it that means you need to rethink y'all living one. yeah Ooh. or just no just like rethink your relationship basically because why are you getting the bbl and he can't up, i don't know and he don't have like a couple grand to help you out exactly that goes yeah. that goes back to like bags and stuff like why well, i have a louis vuitton bag or gucci whatever and don't have the funds uh -huh, to put in it exactly that makes a lot of sense so the same thing with the dude i mean i agreed to pay for half it was my decision because that's something that i wanted to do so i'm like you know what i'm gonna pay half i feel like he would have paid for the whole thing he would have paid for the whole she thing she got a really good husband y'all so we should we should probably do like marriage talk <laughs> and she tell us how she found her I'm crying. <laughs> No, it was seriously, I was I was seeing that it was so many girls going back and forth saying like, oh, he shouldn't have to. Like, would you help buy him a car? And I'm like, yeah, it's two, it's two different things, though. We're but talking we about, would help buy a car, though. It's for, it's for the household. And But since you've had your surgery, he hasn't even stopped touching you, right? <laughs> yeah, he's actually been jealous. More je I've never seen him be this jealous. He, he happy, but he just want me to himself, basically. Oh, my God. I actually like think that's cute. Mm -mm. Like yeah, jealous. Adorable, yeah, adorable. isn't it cute? Y'all look, I went with her for her surgery she and the, the way that her husband was <laughs> she was fresh off the table, like in pain, in like the back seat, but her butt was so big, it was hiked up, and he kept looking <laughs> back there like and I'm like, would you drive? Stop looking back here. <laughs> You're gonna be trying to check it out, trying to see what's going on back there. Girl, you should have saw his his eyes was like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, would you stop? Every time I would come downstairs, girl, I would just see him like stare like. I'm That's crying. Right. <laughs> I'm hollering. So yeah, so you say he's like more jealous, like he don't want you with your friends too too much, like he wants y'all to be. Yeah, up. I feel like he did. He first of all, they already call us Velcro. <laughs> so he just want to be. I don't know. He, I think it's just something he got to get used to. He's not mm -hmm. used to this. You know what I'm saying? So he. I guess it's more, he's not an attention person. So, when we go out of something, of course, I'm not private about the surgery. Everybody yeah. 
first of all, where we live is so small. It is. Very small. Everybody know everybody. So I was a little bit vocal about the surgery. So, of course, when we go out or something, they're going to all ask questions or whatnot. And Everett, which is my husband's name, he's pretty quiet. He quiet. Well, I ain't going to say pretty. He hella quiet. <laughs> and he kind of don't like the attention. Oh. So, I think that's kind of what, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what about with men? Like, has it been? Nah, like it ain't. Yeah, I don't know. We <laughs> ain't got that far yet. <laughs> I feel like, honestly, like, as a single woman, I be... Mean, I don't know, because you have to worry about your husband or whatever. And, of course, he's going to act different. Like, not in a bad way. Like, she has a great husband. But, like, with me, with dating and stuff, it's like, are you trying to date me for my body? Or are you trying to date oh, me for yeah. my mind? So, that changes a lot because I didn't go to get surgery for attention. I went because I wanted to feel confident when I put on clothes. Like, we all know how we are. Like, oh, if I had, like, a little bit more hips, this would look so good. Like, if, you know, my boobs sit up right that's why i went for surgery and i didn't ask for a, a butt I, both times i asked for hips the first time i got a huge butt well that comes with a bbl let them know that yeah that does come with a bbl so if your doctor do, do you right they should build your butt and your hips together so like you should start from the you know your butt and then they should build it coming on the outside to start building in your hips so some surgeons just slap it on them and it don't look right they have to blend it so the first time I didn't get any hips and I came out and my butt was huge and then I went back for hips and Dr. William has to, he has to blend it all. So I had to get a little bit more butt. So mm -hmm. now it's like huge and then I have this shape. So some people say it looks vixen like, I don't feel like it's to that point, but it gets way more attention, like way more attention. Like I'm in a store one day with a whole mask on and my hair was so nappy and all over my head. And this guy was like, you look so beautiful today. And I'm like, how? <laughs> like, you can't even see my face. Right. And I'm thinking, and then my friend said, girl, it's your butt. He was staring at your butt. And I'm like, that's embarrassing. So, so how, do you think, how do you think, men, with you being single, how do you think some men would take the surgery? I mean, of course, mm -hmm. they going to have to accept it because it's permanent. But it's just like, what if he, I don't know, like basically try to down it or something? What you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, well, that's what insecure men do <laughs> for sure. Insecure men, but it's just like, why get like, how, why did you get with me? Yeah, because they like look, a lot of them be like, I thought that was how your body naturally, um, is. Well, you're right. lying, right? You're lying, what you, if, yeah. That's that's, I guess, yeah, for sure. No, I'm, but you gotta think, straight men don't think about that type of shit, they just see a big ass and a coke bottle body, and that's what they like. And so they don't think like that's true mm -hmm. right so that i guess that leads to my next question like are you would when do you tell them or if they ask or you know what I'm most saying? Like, of them, them to be honest they ask. Know. really they, yes like they they say it in a certain kind of way where it's like I, okay yeah i did have work done <laughs> they'd be like really how many times like what did they do like they they get to ask the questions like they want like me and like it but then they i don't know they like look down on it sometimes yeah right yeah have you ever came across being single have you ever came across some men that looks down on women that got their got bodies got done? Body i mean done. got work done no this one guy though he was like crazy into like working out like he was like a like a heavy lifting lift weight guy or whatever and he would be in the competitions he was like it was when i first first got the second round done and he was like you know you could have just went to the gym for that so I sent him a picture and was like, the gym don't make hips like these. Yeah. And so he was like, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's not going to make hips like that. They're not. He was like, you're either born with it or you got to go get that. But you can't build hips in right. the gym. Yeah. It's impossible. There's, it's just not going to happen. So you could be, there was a point in time where I was like crazy in shape, but I was straight up and down like this pole. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was straight up and down. So I'm like, man, I want hips. Like, I feel like you always look better when you have hips. So, and then a lot like, of men don't understand. No, they don't because they don't we, care what they yeah, look like. Exactly. They don't care what they look like. Like, their bodies could be fat and we still would. And they come, well, I ain't going to say comfortable because we comfortable, but if mm -hmm. we able to fix it, we're going to fix it. Yeah. Whereas men, they're like, whatever. Yeah. They're like, yeah. Because either way, like a woman, like, I can accept a guy with a belly. Like, and that won't bother me because I'm looking at like everything else outside of that. And if you look good, but a man, like they probably, they would, but you know, for the most part, like you said, with your husband, like 
it's different when they got like a real real bad chick on their hand like on their arm like yeah he i'm pretty sure your husband was like oh my wife is gorgeous bad but now it's like the extra little like yeah spice right the like, on it like, <laughs> like now he don't know how to act that don't make no sense yeah so now he like he just Ooh. gotta get used to it that's all yeah he will he will he, i don't know girl because when I don't know if it, if he gonna be seeing like the eyes like when y'all out or whatever. I ain't even be staring at your butt. Her butt be. <laughs> I, when we was going upstairs, I was like, look here. You <laughs> but I mean, people, people gonna look regardless. Like, yeah, you know. regardless yeah. whether if y'all if you have work done or not, they gonna look. But I do know that it like being having work done do enhance the lookers or whatnot. And it's that's just something that's gonna come with it. If you a man, you're gonna look. Yeah. I don't expect my husband. Well, like when we went to Miami, girl, <laughs> we, was at, we was leaving the airport in the Uber, and we seen a girl with a big, big booty. Like, her <laughs> booty was huge. I swear to God, she was just, like, so far away. Uh -huh. Girl, and I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at him in the corner of my eyes, and he looking, I said, did you just stare her ass? You didn't hear us in the car argue. <laughs> and I'm like, but you can't get mad because they're going to look. It's it's, it's normal, natural, yeah. yeah. It's just, like, if you see a nice-looking guy, If you don't look, it's like, a problem. Oh, Yeah. So, but this is what I say. Get your look at, get your look and turn your head. Like, exactly. Go ahead. Right. Get your, but yeah. don't look too long to yeah, where it's like, dang. Yeah. Like, when I see somebody in sweatpants, I'm not like, <laughs> girl, kid, <laughs> they blocking up to me. <laughs> get, get your look and turn your head. Because to be right. honest, I'll, I'll be looking at myself like, dang, her booty. Yeah, I'm right. Because I was looking at it and I'm like, let me see if he's seen what I seen. And sure enough, he's seen her booty. <laughs> So, I mean, I guess maybe he probably a little, I ain't gonna say intimidated, but he know how men are. Mm -hmm. So, he kind of like on the defense with that. And he's like protective of his wife. Like, yeah. super well, protective. Like, depending on how he addresses it, if he addresses it in a non-toxic way, I feel like it's, it's okay. For yeah, him to be a, a for little sure. Because, you know, yeah, yeah. it kind of makes you just a little bit more of a target. Yeah. So, he feels like he has to protect you more. Mm -hmm. Cause that's how I felt about Megan when she first got her done. Cause I be so mean to people in the store. Yeah, you feel like, oh right. Cause be that's like, like ever when he, he said when y'all went to, it was in the elevator. Even though you know, oh with yeah, with the man, yeah. he said he was just like, okay, what's funny? Like what y'all looking at? <laughs> so how do you feel like as a single one or dating? Uh -huh. you know, have you ever came across that like on a date with somebody and people staring? Girl, people always stare. Right, I know. So, yeah. how do you think the you the person that you're dating at the time feel about that? Or well, you know who I'm like, you know, kind of dating, but saying. like he. Yeah. In general, for the ones that are single, he don't. I don't know. I have had. A, I had a. He's the type of guy that like it. He likes that attention. <laughs> so of course, you know, he gonna fun and show you off. Yeah, that's that's very true. So you do have those guys where they're like, like you know, she with me, so I don't care I who my chick. Yeah, that's my. my it's my girl right here, so y'all can look all y'all want. I am single though, <laughs> but you know we just we just you know, we just, you know, know just yeah. like I said, courting. Yeah, yeah that's two, what we do. Two types of men. It's it's a man who will punch like a trophy, and it's man who like want to like. Yeah, hide you, hide you right? I, was, so, I did like, go on a date with this guy in Chicago, and um, we were walking, and these dudes was walking past us. And they were like, I'm running my mouth, girl, gossiping about yeah. something. And he turned around and was like, uh, what you say? And I was like, what's happening? Yeah, <laughs> like, don't do that. Yeah, and the dudes was like, oh, man, you ain't got to pay for parking. Like, trying to change the thing. He's also, oh, yeah, because uh, cause her ass is enough, huh? And the dudes was like, oh, my bad, man, my bad, my bad. So you like, know what? I yeah. was like, they were talking about my butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't like, I don't think that they should been like you know vocal. talking yeah vocal about it they said something like dang she got a fat a and that's like, rude so i definitely i like that he said something no, i ain't even yeah. gonna lie, i'd be the same way when that one does not take a picture of her ass and i cursed him out <gasps> yes girl we were, <laughs> we were bowling and him and Aristy was with me and i'm like talking like paying for the stuff and a guy was trying to take a picture of my butt <gasps> i'm crying and him and Aristy cursed him out i'm pretty sure a lot of people probably got pictures of your butt that you don't know about <laughs> Probably. No, yeah, really, because it's huge, <laughs> but it's not. It don't look horrible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it is kind. Of, it's just like Jesus. respect me. Yeah, mm -hmm. like don't, like it's okay. It's just an ass. Y'all ain't y'all seen plenty of them. Yeah, yeah. But I say if you want to, if you do ever decide that you want a BBL, any type of cosmetic procedure, boobs or whatever, like always do it for you because like you didn't do it for your husband you did right. it for yourself yes. first and yes. then she said something that was so cute you guys should take this quote she said the front which is her stomach is for me and the back her butt is for my husband <laughs> i was like girl yes like let's go get this period because i don't care about was my stomach yeah, it's cute, it's cute. and so the, the back ain't that cute that is cute you ate that. so i was like oh okay girl let's go get this
the surgery. But yeah, like with me, I already told you guys, I went for so I could look good in clothes and I have to worry about like, you know, if something doesn't fit right, like whatever I put on now, it looks good. Yeah. It looks good. And so and you and you was going because you said you never felt confident about your stomach or whatever. Right. I had to dress for my body <laughs> knowing that they're not the type of clothes that I liked. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I still had to do my part mm -hmm. to make myself look somewhat decent. Um, but my question for you is being uh, as far as like being single, who did you talk to about getting it done or just like, OK, the, well, not who, but just like who did you? I guess, yeah, who? Who did you think about? Or who did you feel like, okay, this is who I need to go to to get, like, the reinsurance, like, to get that okay? Because I feel like everybody feel like they need that okay from somebody, from someone to get that surgery. You know what and I'm saying? And yours was from Everett. Everett and my mama. Yeah. Mom was from my mama. Yeah. I went straight to her, like, mama, I'm thinking about <laughs> doing this. Can you take care of me? Yeah, but they gotta yeah. give that, like, reassurance, like, okay. You yeah. Know what I'm at first, they, just like Everett, when he said, nah, I'll work it out. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, shit, I don't got nobody just to, of course, if I call you, you like, bitch, go get that surgery <laughs> but if he's telling me to work it out i'm just like okay you know what i'm saying i just need but it was like a compromise that y'all did which i do like that it's like okay try this first and then when he was like it's not working or it's not getting me what i want he then say okay let's go get it exactly that's fair exactly. in my eyes instead of just saying no never never exactly yeah. because you do have some men or some women that are in relationships who husbands or boyfriends or significant other other tell them just flat out no you know what I'm saying? Maybe and then I'm done with you. They, exactly. I was just about to say, <laughs> then they break up because yeah. that's something that you really, really want. So I guess it goes with, you know, following that person's dreams or Ooh. what they want. You know what I'm this saying? It's going to be crazy, crazy. But do you feel more like, I, I feel like an animal now, like in the bedroom. <laughs> more sexy like no I'm i do no for yeah. sure for sure if it, i don't care like if you okay i'm gonna just take it off you know what i'm saying like here you go here it is but i mean even because we've been together since 2006 after i had my second son i did feel uncomfortable yeah. you know what i'm saying i want to keep my clothes on keep my shirt on and i'm just like turn off the lights or don't look at mm -hmm. me or even when i'm getting out the shower even if it don't have to do anything with int intimacy getting out the shower or changing my clothes or something i would literally go run and hide yeah i just it go to bad? it was that bad for me you know yeah. what i'm saying even though people be like oh you didn't look that bad but it was horrible i would go to change in another room he like why do you gotta you know you can change oh, in front Lord. of me i yeah. know that yeah so now it's like <laughs> right here i am i'm taking it off so that's probably another reason why he like Mm. Yeah, you feel it yourself. You feel it yourself. <laughs> but that's why I'm kind of like some people handle the like the news kind of like irresponsibly because like I know dudes be like, oh, well, I think you look good. Well, it's not for you. It's exactly. Like, so she can feel good about her body. That part uh -huh. right there. Like, that's because uh -huh. you like it don't mean that she like. Exactly. So exactly. That's why. Like, okay, take this to y'all husbands or boyfriends who's telling y'all no because what what we're saying pretty much is like when you got that confidence level every woman has their insecurities but when you got yeah. that confidence level and it's fixed or whatever like it's times 10 oh, oh. it's times 10 baby i'm telling you in the you. bedroom anywhere just i mean like it's all, all the way around the board mm -hmm. confidence like you when you walk outside it's like okay i know i'm that i know i'm that chick and i felt yeah. that before but now it's that's just how it is and then like like when you when it comes to the bedroom like before I did not wear lingerie and all of that stuff because I was like Ugh, it don't look right yeah I'm crazy as hell. <laughs> better put this on a box <laughs> you only put this lingerie on a box that's exactly <laughs> how I was shaped like a box but so now like even when I'm here by myself like if I'm not with my the, uh, like the guy I talk to or whatever. I'll still be in lingerie or I won't have nothing on. Yeah, <laughs> chilling. Or even like a little robe or something like, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. I look nice, you know. Yeah, that's cute. This was cute. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be, um, uh, do you have any tips for like the wives that try that's trying to persuade their husbands or, or their boyfriend to, you know, let yeah. them do it? Um, I just say, uh, you know, if, listen to him, listen to how he feel. Definitely ask questions, reassure, you know, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this isn't worth losing your soulmate. Your soulmate, J depending on the type of person they are. If, like Keon said, you know, 
Would you have stayed with your husband if he told you flat out no? For sure, for yeah. sure. But like you said, it's just the way you seeing it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? If you just being outright doggish and because you do have these men that literally curse you out, dog you out, make you feel little little more than you feel already unconfident about your body but if you got this man that you know you're gonna be with that you know hella supportive yeah if he i mean like i said just come to a common ground you know what i'm saying just talk it out reassure each other one another and i go, love that yeah for sure just go with you know what both of y'all think and both of y'all decide on mm -hmm. and for like the single ladies that's still out dating like after the fact because you are going to run into a lot of men that they're going to look at you as like as sex. I'm not going to lie. Like there's men that actually want to get to know me because I have a great mind. I have a lot going for myself. Like I'm well put together. But honestly, that's it. Still brings in st certain things that should not be there. Right. Like there's certain men that probably would not have come my way that's coming my way just because they see me as a sex symbol. That's or crazy. Yeah, and I hate that. It's disgusting. Or, but what about what about if somebody come your way? you know looking at your appearance mm -hmm. but still like you as well so i think it, it's the best of both worlds you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah but it's, it's hard for me to like determine the two different well pitch. you know you know you gonna know because yeah. they go if you constantly talking about my body i want to cut you out like i can't talk to you if you're not trying to court me take me on dates i don't want to talk to you so i just say like afterwards ladies like you know be confident in yourself but also to like watch who you have around you the the, the men that's coming your way because it's 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 a it's an attraction like it's an attraction like a yeah, magnet pretty for much sure. so like when you're out dating or if you're interested in dating when you're out or whatever just be cautious and listen to what they say because they all they're so i don't call them stupid but they say what they want they're going to tell you what they want in so many words so if you're constantly talking about how big my buddy is or you know like can we netflix and chill mm -hmm. <laughs> that's no, a problem that's a problem now nah, they come in now they may slip up and say something here or there about your body or whatever but they they court you or whatever then that's the person you probably should be looking at but that's the tips that we have i hope you guys enjoyed our little closet talk we're going to have a lot more coming your way at least once a week with me and my sis this is my Yay. brother back here his name is kia <laughs> his name is kia and he'll be giving out some little um, you know, little details and tips and, you know, his point of view or whatever. Outside looking in. Outside looking in. Yeah, That's a, actually a male cute. perspective. Uh, <laughs> male. Male. <laughs> male perspective. All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.